Hey, Lobsters. I hope um, everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, and we had kind of a crazy entry into the holiday. Um, apologies again for missing uh, the last Friday workshop. Um, but for those of you that met, I'm glad you did. It sounds like some good support happened then. So I'm so glad the snow has melted here. What I wanted to do was present to you um, the tool called Reality Stories that we would have covered had we met that Friday. And you should have the handout with the worksheets you'll need. So I don't want you to miss out on this tool, even though we missed out on the opportunity to do it together. So let me talk a little bit about reality stories. I'm gonna share. Mm -mm -mm. So here is, let me just put my head up here. <laughs> so reality stories are a really fun tool. We're at the, a uh, point in the lab where we're going to start the last set of three workshops. And a lot of times some magic happens here in terms of um, getting out of our heads and out of our uh, ways of thinking. We have to make these um, results happen. The more we can relax into just what we want to see happen and notice what's happening both in our life and as a result of our actions that we take in the lab, um, the more unexpected opportunities show up. So let me show you how you set yourself up with this tool to, to really have some cool stuff happen that you wouldn't have ant anticipated. So the way you do it is you go back and you look at your project design statement. And just to refresh your memory, my uh, three results were having a certain uh, revenue number a week and getting a bunch of BS to-dos done that were sucking my energy and um, getting some excitement and inspiration about other possible income sources. And this one, in terms of my tree that I've been growing, this third result has really blasted off in unexpected ways, but not really with a clear link to money, which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's the work for 2025 is to establish the link with money. I don't know. But so just to get my project in my head, those were my three results. And then if you go to the sheet um, that says progress assessment two, it asks you just to remember your words. Mine were uh, joy or satisfaction, integrity and creativity. And my story about how I thought I produced these results, your story is basically how you assumed it would happen when you started the lab, when you wrote down your results. So I thought I would have dutifully crafted action items every week, chunking them down so I wouldn't be overwhelmed, and then walking my way through them, and I would magically get rid of all the BS to-dos, I would hit my revenue target, and I would be ready to choose a passive income source to work on next year. A lot of this has happened, but not so much the way um, I planned. So down at the bottom of the sheet, it gives you a chance just to assess your expectations. The ones I had that it really have been fulfilled, I had a jump in clients when I started the lab. I think I got five or six new ones. Two of them have already moved on. Um, but these clients have been really interesting and have stretched me. Um, I've made a lot of progress on this BS New York State licensure. It was a lot more involved than I planned involving 
three different organizations and getting them to send this letter here and them to send that letter here and sending money to this person. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. But now in my email, I have an invitation to look and see when the test is going to be given and to sign up to do it. So I'm letting myself just totally wait till next week to actually sign up. But that was a major expectation fulfilled on the on the side that hasn't I didn't do anything about my Medicare opt out. My website is still out of date, although I did make a few improvements. Um, there has been on my limb of passive income and creativity sources. Personally, I've had this whole upgrade of uh, identifying myself as a Leo rising, um, diving into creative things like guitar, where I had a major breakthrough last week. Um, I'm also embracing dream work, and I've started a memoir um, to see how these dreams are going to impact my life. Um, totally unexpected and much more in line of, with that third result. And I'm not even sure where it's going. Also, Wendy and I have been meeting every week, pretty much, to talk about possible collaborations, including a podcast. So a lot's actually happened. Um, so the next page is where you start making up other ways it could happen. What are the alternative surprising ways your project results can happen? It's good to think outside of the box here. The first one I came up with was I sell my house in Austin and a financial advisor, which I don't even have right now, <laughs> tells me I have to start drawing money from uh, my investments like I have to. And so what that means is I can... I can reach my weekly target, not just by earning money, but by just taking money out of my investment accounts. And so I decide to start devoting less time to seeing clients and more time to these creative projects that may or may not generate money down the road. So my mix changes. The other thing is Wendy and I, here's another reality story. Number two, Wendy and I start a podcast celebrating uh, the transpersonal aspects of experience, including paranormal experiences. And it becomes this great big hit. And we both need to back out of, of the work we're already doing so we can attend to this expanding community and inside of the community um, kind of co uh, congealing around the podcast we can uh, do our workshops from that space and have live streams and um, have people collaborate with each other. Uh, so that one's fun, don't you think, Wendy? <laughs> and then three, um, with my new clients mostly, I think this idea popped up that I develop uh, an ex expertise in my counseling or reputation that, um, makes sense to doing a slightly different mix of client work and that maybe I have clients that make more sense to charge above my regular rate and sort of like um, a niche with um, very ambitious, I don't know, something about that I would charge them more money, more than 150 an hour and that my client mix would change um, so that I wouldn't actually have to get, devote more time to seeing clients, but that my, my uh, gross money would be going up. So those are just three possible reality stories. Um, and and what, what we miss doing is making up <laughs> reality stories for each other. So that, I don't know if that communicates. I hope that you get a sense of how to brainstorm those, those reality stories, different ways that to really play with your expectations and make up crazy new ways that your results could happen before the end of the lab. Um, I want to invite you and ask you if, 
if you were thinking, looking at my three results of, of really easy ways they could happen that I'm overlooking, um, if you wouldn't mind replying to all and just writing down a few sentences about what that would look like, that's what we were gonna do in the lab. So I invite you to do that with each other if you're just meeting one-on-one -on -one or uh, if you see something. And I invite you to do this exercise using the, the handout I sent you a couple weeks ago and share your reality stories that you came up with. Um, and uh, let's, let's just do this if we can. Definitely do it for yourself. Definitely at least sit down. It'll take you about a half an hour to go through those worksheets. So Friday, Friday's our next lab. I really look forward to seeing everyone again. Um, be in touch. Um, enjoy the reality stories before I see you then. And um, I'll see you in a few days. Like, well, five, six days, something like that. Okay. Uh, love you all. I'm trying to figure out how to, oh, there, stop recording. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>